Welcome to Section 1, Introduction to SAP-MM. SAP-MM stands for Materials Management. It is a crucial module within the SAP ERP system, designed to streamline procurement processes and effectively manage inventory within an organization. SAP MMM plays a vital role in the overall supply chain management of a company, ensuring the smooth flow of materials and resources. By automating tasks such as creating purchase orders, tracking deliveries and managing invoices, SAP MMM helps businesses optimize their procurement procedures. Providing real-time visibility into material flow, SAP MMM enables businesses to make informed decisions, optimize inventory levels and prevent stockouts. This ultimately leads to improved efficiency and cost savings. The significance of SAP MM in today's business landscape cannot be overstated. With businesses facing increasing pressure to streamline operations and reduce costs, SAP MM offers a comprehensive solution that addresses these challenges by providing a centralized platform for managing all aspects of materials management, from procurement to inventory control. In conclusion, SAP MM is a critical component of the SAP ERP system, empowering businesses to streamline their procurement and inventory management processes. By automating tasks, providing real-time visibility and enabling informed decision-making, SAP MM plays a vital role in enhancing supply chain efficiency. As we delve deeper into the core functionalities of SAP MM in the subsequent sections, you will gain a comprehensive understanding of its capabilities and benefits. Welcome to Section 2, Core Functionalities of SAP MM. SAP MMM encompasses a wide array of functionalities designed to streamline materials management operations. Some of the primary functions include 1. Procurement, which handles the entire procurement cycle from creating purchase requisitions, generating purchase orders, to managing vendor relationships. 2. Inventory management, enabling businesses to efficiently manage their inventory levels, track stock movements, conduct physical inventory counts and set up reorder points. 3. Invoice verification, automating the process of verifying invoices received from vendors to ensure they match the corresponding purchase orders and goods receipts. 4. Material valuation, providing tools for valuing materials based on various methods, such as moving average price and standard cost. These functionalities are interconnected and work together seamlessly, ensuring the smooth flow of materials throughout the supply chain. For instance, when a purchase order is created in the procurement function, it triggers a corresponding entry in the inventory management module, updating the stock levels accordingly. To illustrate these functions in a practical context, let's consider the example of a manufacturing company. The company needs to procure raw materials to produce its finished goods. Using SAP MM, the procurement team can create a purchase requisition for the required materials. Once the requisition is approved, a purchase order is generated and sent to the vendor. When the materials are delivered, a goods receipt is recorded in SAP MM, updating the inventory levels. In summary, the core functionalities of SAP MM are essential for businesses to effectively manage their materials management operations. From procurement to inventory control and invoice verification, SAP MM provides a comprehensive suite of tools to streamline these processes. This enables businesses to optimize their supply chain, reduce costs, and improve overall efficiency. Welcome to Section 3, Material Master Creation, a step-by-step -step guide. The Material Master is a central repository of information for all materials used in an organization. It contains detailed data about each material, including its description, unit of measure, valuation class, and more. Creating a Material Master is a fundamental step in SAP MM. This process ensures that all materials are accurately defined and managed within the system. To create a Material Master in SAP MM, you can follow these steps. 1. Navigate to the Material Master Creation Transaction Code, which can vary depending on the SAP system configuration, but a common transaction code is MM01. 2. Enter the material type which defines the characteristics of the material, such as raw material, finished good or trading good. 3. Populate the Material Master data, including basic data, such as material description and unit of measure, as well as more specific data, such as valuation class and tax category.
4. Assign the material to the relevant organizational levels, ensuring that the material is available for use in the correct plants and storage locations. For instance, let's say a company wants to create a material master for a new type of steel used in its manufacturing process. The material type would be raw material and the basic data would include the material description steel, grade XYZ, and the unit of measure times. The valuation class would be assigned based on the company's accounting policies and the material would be assigned to the plant where it will be used. By following these steps, businesses can create accurate and comprehensive material masters. This enables them to effectively manage their materials throughout the supply chain. The material master serves as the foundation for various other processes in SAP MM, including procurement, inventory management and material planning. Section 4. Purchase Order. Processing. From requisition to receipt, purchase order or PO processing is a core functionality within SAP MM, representing a crucial aspect of procurement. It encompasses the entire process from the initial request for materials to the final receipt and invoice verification. The typical PO processing cycle in SAP MMM involves several key steps. First, a purchase requisition is created, indicating the need for specific materials or services. This requisition outlines the required quantity, delivery date and other relevant details. Once the purchase requisition is approved, a PO is generated in SAP MM. This PO serves as a legally binding document between the company and the vendor. Next, the PO is then transmitted to the vendor, either electronically or through traditional means. Upon receipt of the ordered materials or services, a goods receipt is recorded in SAP MM. The final step involves verifying the vendor invoice against the PO and goods receipt to ensure accuracy. As an illustration, imagine a company needs new computer monitors. The IT department initiates a purchase requisition in SAP MM specifying the monitor model, quantity and desired delivery date. Once approved, the requisition is converted into a PO which is sent to the company's preferred vendor. Upon delivery, the IT department records the goods receipt in SAP MM confirming the arrival of the monitors. Finally, the vendor invoice is verified against the PO and goods receipt to complete the process. By automating and streamlining the PO processing cycle, SAP MM significantly improves efficiency and accuracy in procurement. This reduces the likelihood of errors, speeds up the procurement process and provides real-time visibility into the status of all purchase orders. Section 5, Importance of SAP MM for Freshers in 2024. In today's competitive job market, possessing in-demand skills is crucial for fresh graduates. SAP MM has emerged as a highly sought-after skill set, particularly in industries that rely heavily on efficient supply chain management. Mastering SAP MMM can significantly enhance a fresher's career prospects in several ways. First, SAP MM skills are in high demand across various industries, making proficient candidates highly desirable to potential employers. Secondly, in a pool of equally qualified candidates, having SAP MM expertise can provide a significant advantage. Thirdly, SAP is a globally recognized ERP system, meaning SAP MM skills are transferable and can open doors to international job opportunities. Lastly, individuals with specialized skills like SAP MM often command higher salaries compared to those without. For freshers entering the workforce in 2024, acquiring SAP MM skills can be a strategic career move. It equips them with the knowledge and expertise to excel in roles related to procurement, inventory management and supply chain operations. Moreover, as businesses increasingly embrace digital transformation, the demand for professionals with SAP MM skills is only expected to rise. Numerous resources are available to help freshers learn and master SAP MM, including online courses, training programs and certification exams. By investing time and effort in acquiring these valuable skills, freshers can gain a competitive edge and position themselves for a successful career in the ever-evolving world of supply chain management. Section 6. Conclusion In the contemporary business landscape characterized by rapid technological advancements and increasing globalization, efficient supply chain management is paramount to success. 
SAP MM as an integral module of the SAP ERP system plays a pivotal role in enabling organizations to optimize their procurement, inventory management, and overall supply chain operations. This essay has provided a comprehensive overview of SAP MMM, delving into its core functionalities, practical applications, and significance for freshers entering the workforce in 2024. We explored the critical processes of material master creation and purchase order processing, highlighting their importance in streamlining materials management. As businesses continue to embrace digital transformation, the demand for professionals with SAP MM expertise will only continue to grow. By acquiring these in-demand skills, freshers can enhance their employability, gain a competitive edge, and unlock a world of opportunities in the field of supply chain management.